Good evening and welcome to our final match of the day in the 2023 Alpha Las Vegas Open. And we've saved a really good one for you. It's an all-American battle between Tyler Steyer and Shane Walford. Your referee for this one is Dwayne Payne. Was it Dwayne or was that John Lehman? I forget who it was now. First mistake already, it's John Lehman. Look, that was a quick change from Dwayne Payne. <laughs> That's my one and only mistake I'm allowed from now on, Tim. Uh, it's two races to four, ten ball, and I've already said who's in the booth with me. It's Tim De Reuter. Well, I butchered that intro, didn't I? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things can only get better. So how you see this one going then, Tim? Um, well, obviously both good players. Could be a good matchup too. I think they're quite even. In my, in my point of view, I think both players are. Maybe Tyler is a little bit more experienced than Shane, but well, I think we could what, see a close match here. He's got a great break as well, hasn't he? We know Tyler Starr. I mean, I'm not so familiar with Shane's break, but I know Tyler's got a great tempo, and we just saw it there. Well, and also Tyler has been playing, as far as I know, all the Pro Beard Series events. So he's used to the format. He's used to, you know, with the hand rack, where to break from, what kind of thing. I don't think I've seen someone break like this on the TV table before, like cutting it so so thin and then still having a decent impact. And So he knows his way around the format. Beautifully played there on this three ball. Perfect position. And we say it every time we see this young man at the table. He really is a hard worker and he lives like an athlete. Let's see if he can perform like one and get over the winning line. Oh, beautiful stroke. Oh, well, look at this, though. Jump cue coming out. Yeah, this was the actually the biggest problem. Making the shot or moving in between the five and the eight was not going to be the challenge. The challenge was to get back in between the five and the six. So it was a pretty tough shot. and. Is this ma still makeable though? It's not horrible. Yeah, I was going to say, don't forget to take that butt of that cue out because he'll be playing the five into that pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just well, not unlucky, but a little bit horrible to end up glued to the rail there. Well, if anyone's got the fundamentals though to stroke this one in, he's one of them. Both looking for a place in stage two where we go to race to two sets. Best of three sets, isn't it? Stage two. Looking forward to that one. Tyrell Blowers, one of the fans behind there. The bleachers are busy. I was going to say, I would not be surprised if he was going to play safe on that. This is a good, I think this is a good choice. No, I had no value going for the risky shot and then leave yourself again extremely long on the six. This way you still hold the control over the game and he did well. Yeah, one rail kick probably from behind. Call it in the corner. I would rather call it in the side because that's the direction I would already kick to, towards, so. Yeah, like that. Well, he did. Look at the 10. Very Shame good. he didn't call the 10 oh, in the side. Oh, wow. Oh, that's probably going to lock up the eight ball as well. And he's going to get put he's back get to put the table. back in, yeah. Oh. Just explain that rule for viewers, Tim, that may not be familiar with what's just happened there. Yeah, so in, we're playing 10 ball, and 10 ball is a call shot, so you got to call your ball in the pocket. And in this case, he had called, what is it, the, the five ball in the bottom, uh, in the top left corner. And he made a different ball, so then the other player gets the option to either play themselves or put the opponent back in. Yeah, normally that 10 ball would go on the spot, but because it can't go on the spot, because the eight ball's on there, it has to go as close to its own spot as possible, rail, top rail side. It's still, not, ho it's still not horrible, though. If he does not hit the five ball, at least the eight at least the eight so there's still a tough work for Tyler to do. Oh, nice good, contact. Good hit, but though. Unfortunately, it's not hitting it. It's what you leave, and he's left it. 
But, as you just said, Tim, he's got the problem now of this eight ball. You know, he could position himself for the six in the side, maybe, and then bump open the eight. But then you've got to have to shoot a long seven again. So it's kind of this is getting I awkward now. I think the bank's available, isn't it, into the side pocket? Could could be on the an eight. option you got to take. Well, he's Is got an angle on this now. He could play it now. Yeah, I'd like playing it now, if I'm honest. Yeah, Take if, the if risk now. Oh, and also, if you if you play position for the bank, you get a little bit too short or a little bit too long. It gets more difficult, and you're opening the problem for the other guy. So then in, I would do it in the, in the first place yeah, anyway. He doesn't want to risk doing it off the 7, 100%. doesn't want to do that, because if it does go wrong, that's his last chance at it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a poor shot in my eyes, I'm afraid. I do agree with the speed he has played, but... It was hard to get the draw that he needed on it, though, yeah. at that pace that he played it. See, look, it's so... And he didn't really draw it, Tim. I think he just misjudged the angle of it slightly, maybe. So, long jump, and, yeah, this is the thing. If he makes a jump, he's going to be in a bad position. He's scratched as well. Doesn't want to open them up. He hasn't, but Shane can now choose his angle where he wants. Yeah, Tyler, who actually, I think he started pretty good to this yeah. rack. Yeah. And then now it gets a little, little scrappy just by the layout. Unfortunate to scratch in a way, but it was always on, wasn't it? Yeah, when he was he was trying to probably leave the cue ball up table and get the seven down just to create some distance. So, a gift of a chance, ball in hand on the seven, but still the problem of the eight. Well, not anymore, it's not. It's open, well. but we have got to play this in the side, haven't you, Tim? Yeah, you, you have to. The good thing, though, if you can hold the cue ball at the short rail, maybe glue to the short rail just in case, if you don't make the eight, it's always tough to make the long eight and then come back to the tempo. So you can play a little insurance on this. He's there, he's got it. Friendly kiss. Wow, this is awkward now. Yeah, this doesn't go. Do you? He might, he might have to bank. Bank it. Yeah. Yep. It's either the bank or the safe. It's still early in the match, so I don't mind him going for the bank because it's early in the match. Yeah, and he can draw the cue ball back to the, to the rail as well. A little bit of a stabby shot, but he's got a chance at it. It's gone wide, but yeah. look at that cue ball and, and look at the 10 ball. Well, the 10 ball came up a little short, so another chance. It's a test up. Is the scratch in the side down on, though? No, not not on this. I think if you make the shot, just stop spin, you, you'll sh yeah, you should be okay. You got two rails probably to the two and a half, three diamonds on the long rail on the left. Oh, beautiful. Well played. Great stroke. In it goes then. First blood in this All-American encounter. To Tyler Steyer. There we see everything dead still. Kept that head down, Tim. Really has got a good technique, hasn't he? And there you see all the other matches going on. And we'll keep you up to date with all the scores. John Moore are in action there, you can see. And he's up against a guy called Stolker from Germany. Aloysia Schapp, you can see also there. Back to this one. Shane Wolford. Now, a lot of people were talking about this young man just before Moscone last year, about a possible call-up. His best friend, you could say, on the pool circuit is Sky Woodward. Spend a lot of time together. Yeah. And they seem to gel together well. So, so let's, let's have a look at this break. Let's see if he can produce the same kind of break. He was cutting it, not too much spin. Maybe at like 60%, 70% power, not too crazy, just a good stroke. No, wow, he went for the full in that. the face. And Another great oh. break. So unfortunate. If you look at where the two ball ends up, it's just 
He's Perfect cue ball. He's yeah. either got a jump or pushed to a jump, hasn't he? Uh, he might. Where can Let we push to? There's nowhere to push to, is there? If that 3 8 combo. No, it doesn't go. Oh, I might push to the to the safety though. I'm gonna push the cue ball in the bottom right corner where the 3 and the 8 is. And I'm gonna bank it down table and bring the cue ball in the top left corner behind the 5 7. It's probably what I would suggest. I don't see much value to shoot to, to attack on the two ball. Push out forward. Yeah, I do like this. Exactly as you called it, Tim. Oh, this is a tough shot. I this. shared my microphone with him. Oh, yeah. He's, got, he's all mic'd up, you know. <laughs> Direct line to style. Yeah, if I were a Shane, I would never give this back. But I'm not Shane. So he's banking the two ball down table. Cue ball in the top left corner. Hopefully with the 5-7. That would be ideal. Oh, so he'd love to break that open. The three. Is there a window? Oh, right there. I think there might be. Hit it good though, I mean. Yeah, couldn't have hit it much better, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Might be the, and it could be even worse if there's the window that you can make it and now you get a nice angle with top left spin to bump the tree out. No, didn't grab them. Oh, I was gonna say didn't grab that much, but then the 10 ball helped a little bit. Now small, small safety behind the eight. No, he's choosing for distance. Yeah, it's a bit close for that, isn't it, Tim, to get enough power to take it to the right? I really don't mind it. It's just a short, short little bump. Yeah, I did like this. Yeah. Keeping the pressure on. This is intriguing. Good start so far from Steyer. Do you think playing against his fellow countrymen and you know a guy that's sort of up and coming as well is it any harder to play against him is there more on the line just than I, this match i don't know how well they know each other like how wow, look at this yeah did not call that and just left tyler a good chance here yes yeah, sorry I, I, I don't know how f like how good friends they are like are they really close to each other or not because that really makes a huge difference if you're playing friends and stuff, it's just, yeah. Sometimes you're waiting for the other guy to start to play good, and otherwise you won't. Like, it's just, so uh, it, it gets complicated. Yeah, I was just talking to Sullivan Clark during the interval, and he was saying he's travelled here with his buddy and he's rooming with his Australian friend, Chowdhury, and he just had to play him in the last round, and he said it was horrible. Yeah, I've, I've seen so many people, like, play their friends and now they both cannot make a ball just because they're so uncomfortable with with the whole situation as you can see the four ball passes this ten ball little bit short so big shot again needed here Crowd enjoying it as well, and as you'd expect, almost a full house here. Big shot coming. Oh, he's missed it, trying to guide the cue ball around the table. Has it gone in the wrong pocket as well? Yeah, did sound like it dropped and Tyler. Yeah, it's disappeared. It's not on the table anymore. So a good opportunity for Shane Walford to get comfortable in this match. Get the first game on the board, get going a little bit. Yeah, nice angle on the seven. Can put the cue ball anywhere he wants from there. In 
it goes. Yeah, natural position on the eight to just float for the tempo in the same pocket as the eight. Oh, I would, oh. I would have liked to maybe play two rails just to make sure I stay off the rail. And this is a little scary. It's a touchy one, especially when it's to take your first rack in a. In a match. No problem though. Stroked it in perfectly. <laughs> well, he's got some got some fans in the audience and we're gonna nip out guys for just a minute or so and we'll be back with more of this drama. Welcome back. Well, this is a, a party atmosphere here. Just watching all those highlights. Sky Woodward featuring very highly in them. That's from yesterday. Well, our social media guys, our production crew are doing a wonderful job. David and JP and all the other guys. Great stuff. It's all shown on the big screen as well here in the Rio All Suites Casino Hotel Resort, pushing out Tyler style. Yeah, just basically using the four to put the cue ball where he wanted it to go. You don't have to hit a ball. You can hit a ball. You can make a ball if you want. Or to push out. Yeah, I expect him to get the cue ball behind the seven. But in that case, if he plays a child, he's going to leave the one and the ten together. So he might want to play the long reel, long reel safety. Just a little bit conservative. Hopefully get the two in between of them. Play this one. Oh, he's played I it played well. It very played well. it brilliantly. Good shot. Tap on the table in appreciation from Tyler. So one ball didn't even get down that much. Expected it to be lower. Really nicely played. But if he looks focused, Tim. Yeah, both players until now have been looking quite okay. Exciting for me. Oh, nice, nice hit. hit. But, but deserved a little bit more, but on the other side also not, because he was always going to kick to the open space on the table. So I would have liked to maybe kick with more speed just to separate more and get the other balls into play. Yeah, it's always the same, isn't it? It's not just hitting it, it's getting it safe as well, which is the difficult part. They're all quite capable of kicking. Oh, he's played this beautifully. Yeah, what can he do with the three ball? I think That's he goes past the five, doesn't it? Does it not go past the five? It's difficult, I'm not sure at all. Yeah, I think if it did, he'd be down playing it already. Oh, it seems he's playing that position, Tim. Yeah, he's playing for it. It's either that or nice he has good. some kind of safety. Yes, it goes, I think. 
could play the combination too, if he wants. <coughs> oh, he's got eight, seven seconds left. Needs the extension, he's called it. Does look very, very tight. Didn't hear what he said then. Yeah, I'm sure he's playing the combo. Called the extension. Oh, well yeah. played. Good shot. Nicely controlled, good speed. Now it's wide open. Yeah, I don't think I've ever commentated on Shane before, so I've never really seen him up close. I mean, I've watched the odd rack here and there as I've walked around the arena but never literally sat down and watched him. Yeah, same for me. It's interesting to no, see. Oh, the eight ball. Oh, that's... Well, well he's okay. No, well, no, I think he's hooked he himself. He might still be able to have a look at the four, but I don't think he can still make it. I'm trying your trick of turning my head sideways, <laughs> and it doesn't work for me, Tim. It's my I just, I've just gone all dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so, got the jump cue out. We'll need a good recovery though. He's not completely behind the eight, so only has to jump a little edge. Oh. That was a good try. And second prize. I mean, can't complain about the outcome. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. Oh, very close, wasn't it? caught a glimpse of a youngster in the crowd there I always think it's nice when you see father and daughter in the in the crowd you know the, the youngsters taking a real interest Tim in the game you know something like this seeing this might just get them hooked on the game yeah now the game is definitely changing at the moment I'd like to go two rails here he went for one oh. wow he's missed it three times or if it comes past it again <laughs> poor You see replay. Oh, right That's between the gap, between that gap. Yeah, could have got lucky and, well, didn't. <laughs> we, we did not see that coming. Cannot afford himself to miss too many of those. Yeah, had to make sure just to make the shot and leave himself a longer seven ball. Was not really any different shot to get closer to the seven, and this works as well. You just dragging this in, Tim? Just coming back down the centre of the table, or what are you doing? You could play cent. Well, maybe just oh, a tipple, tipple rails. left. You could just drop it in with a little bit left spin and get to the centre of the table one rail. But most of the players like to str to hit the ball anyway, so then they choose to go for this option. I don't mind my option, like that's my preference on that. Maybe the two railer in this case was going to guarantee him having a nice angle to go to the nine ball. Yeah, this is perfect. Play the nine into the same pocket. Oh no, he's going in long now. Okay, come short side.
Still a bit of work to do. And he's done his work very well indeed. Couldn't have played that better. Great shot. Yeah, so Tyler about to steal this game. Unexpected miss from Shane Walford on the six. 2-1. Tyler Steyer leads. And just going around the room. Some other matches going on at the moment as well. We saw earlier on Shane Van Boning got sent to the one loss side by Chang Jung Lin. Crowd is having a little fun there. Mika Imminen also went through. There was a huge streak when he went through. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz continues his semi-dominance of the game, winning in straight sets against your good friend, Alex Montpellier. And your fellow countryman is playing Wu Kun Lin at the moment, Van Lierop, Jan Van Lierop. He lost the first set. And he's 3-2 down in the second set. Back to this one, Tyler. Breaking off. Another crunching square break. Hit. Yeah, square hit. And this time, looks to be dry. But fortunate to have the two and the three locked up. So, tough start for Shane Wolford. got a shot on the one but what does he do about the the two can he draw off that Tim into it I don't think so and also he's close digging to the down, rail is he? he's so digging he's down oh no he's not oh he's a long way away yeah he got the lovely carom onto the two and he's done the work though for Tyler Steyer because does this pass I think it does yeah yeah it goes Tyler looking to get on the hill here. Does Tyler's style remind you of Fedor in any way? Not really, to no. be honest. No, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, well, if you just look at how he strokes, like yeah, his, his yeah. pre-strokes, I mean, yeah. those are like different, in my opinion, like way different. He takes really long strokes. Feder is like he deliberately like changes his length all the time when he strokes the ball. It's kind of yeah, it's different. But if you look at the elbow drop, then yes, because yeah. they both do it. They have worked with Johan Reising. And. I believe he is the guy that's teaching them to do it. He is. Oh, that was a good shot. That was really well played. He's a man on a mission. Still hasn't won one of these. And he's played in every single one. Well, he had a like he won the Kremlin Cup like what is it five or six years ago, started to actually go really well on the tour, and then the last couple of years he's not really getting the results he wants to. Like he doesn't really get that deep anymore. I so think he, I think he's going through like a a career. It's changing in a way. His style, you know, um, his eating habits, his fitness regime. He's got married, of course, so a lot of things have changed in his life, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, things might be at some point coming together and something beautiful will happen, but for now, I'm still waiting for it, <laughs> to be honest. In the meantime, those pesky Europeans keep coming across the pond. Yeah, we got plenty of more, trust me.
Yeah, but having said that, there are some great juniors coming through in the States as well. So the future beginning to look very bright for Paul in general, you know, whatever side of the Atlantic you're on, wherever you are in, in the world, Asia, Japan, producing some great players again. Ooh. Oh, I was already starting to think I would always play this minimum three rails, not minimum two rails. Because if you hit that third rail, I'd rather hit the third rail and come up too high for the 10 and then having to cut than being too short and have no shot. So, played it. Wow, this is a chance yeah. for Shane. That's a poorly played safety on that. And I think a lot of it was to do with being a little bit frustrated. Yeah, he, he, play, played he, the nine. he played this safety a little bit faster than all the other shots. That's how I felt it. So, usually that's when they get a little frustrated or disappointed in their previous shot, and then they do that. Nice stroke. In it goes. No problem whatsoever. We're all level. 2-2. Two, two. He's got some fans in. And we're going to go and let you see a few highlights, guys. We'll be back with some more, hopefully, very soon. Welcome back, Shane Wolford to break then. Stole that last one. <coughs> Tyler Steyer had a little grasp on the rack, but then let it go. Well, actually lost the cue ball on the break. Yeah. Got really low. Called a push immediately. thinking where I would push out to. Yeah, I like yeah, where he's there. pointing it yeah. right now. Just on that back right. But on the other side, then he's also giving Tyler a pretty reasonable safety return if he pushes there. There's multiple shots he could play. He could kick from behind the back. Behind the eight, I like going behind the eight. Yeah, yeah, behind the eight, bang the one ball over behind, oh, cue ball behind the eight, or kick from the back and send the cue ball, oh, the one ball down table. He could even go cut it and bring the cue ball Back down table for insurance. 100%. He's not giving it back. I think he's no. The, uh, yeah, the that, that was that. yeah. That was my my message. Yeah, there's <laughs> like three or four options he's got here. But at least he's put a little bit. Oh, he's giving it back. Well, maybe because he's on the rail. Could be that it, it felt a little bit uncomfortable. Well, because getting the cue ball behind the eight, I would probably like to play some left spin. He's called it. He's going to cut this in. He's going yeah, for the cut. And bring the cue ball back down table for insurance, probably. He will always have a look on the two if he makes it, so a little two-way. It's a tough cut, though. Wow, <laughs> look at this. Impressed. And the bump? Yeah. Well. That's opened it right up. Yeah, that's a great shot there. Wow. Straight and all. Well, how'd you like that one, Tyler? That's why I wasn't giving it back. Not because I thought he'd go for it, but I thought he had safety options as well, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <sighs> He's not impressed. Hard to tell what he is because he never changes his expression, does he? Oh, he might have to go for the zigzag on this. It's either a Massey or zigzag on the three, meaning two rails. 
for the people that don't know the zigzag shot, the famous oh, the Z shot. The Z shot, yeah. Really tough to judge as well with the new what about sliding three rails? Oh, he's going, no. He's just going one rail, Tim. Oh, he's I don't think he's got the full bucket if he goes one rail. Nope. Nowhere near. So in the end, then, it turns out that the push out, giving it back, has worked in Tyler's favour, albeit by uh, an alternative route. That was a tough shot, though, wasn't it? I think he got a bit of unwanted English on it as well, maybe. It was tough to judge. And he has opened the five ball as well to make things even easier. Calls his extension on the ball in hand. I'm actually surprised because I don't really think it's that difficult. I would just draw straight to the center of the table. What is he doubting? Yeah, from here and draw straight back. I never like it when I see players moving the ball with their cue. I always think if they just miss it, <laughs> rolls into a ball, it's a foul. Nicely on the five, just drop this in the side. Natural position up for the seven. This to go on the hill. And it's still just two races to four. One match away <coughs> from the new format. And it'll be interesting to see how players respond to that. I'm really looking forward to the next stage, Tim, of this tournament. Two rails here, low right. Uh, did not go to the other side of the table. Didn't want to get straight on the nine. Now we'll have to play another good shot. Doesn't want to run into the ten. It's another nice story developing. The young guy from Estonia, Carl Gnaderberg, who won the junior tournament world nine ball in Puerto Rico has taken the first set against Andrew Kong. He's going really well, winning that one 4-2. So he's already guaranteed a shootout. And he's played this not very good. Yeah, came up quite short. And in general, the American players, they're not a big fan of working with the bridge. Yeah, and you see there, he's changed to his left hand. And it's worked though, in it goes. It's on the hill. John Lehman giving somebody a stare out there. Let's have a look what's going on around the room then, shall we? Lots of games going on. Young Eric Roberts, who played Shane on this table, Shane Van Boning on this table. On the opening day, is 3 2 up against Ungaing Aung Tuan from Vietnam. Mikel Gard, 3 1 up against Carlos Ariel Casto. Miesko Fortunski, 2 1 down at the moment to Kiwu. And Danny Olsen, another up and coming youngster. From the States is 3-1 down against Kenichi Uchigaki. So breaking off then to take this first set. Winner's side match. Cool, what a good break that was. 
Yeah, gave it all he had, but no ball on the break. I look at the four, five, and eight there, all in a line. Formed a wall for the one ball. Would you try breaking from the centre, Tim? No, because he had, I think the first two of his breaks were actually, they really were working. So, you know, I would stick to something that I know that I've seen it work. Okay. Like he's, he's made the one straight in the side, so why could he not produce that again? That's more to I'm not gonna change. I mean, it's not gonna hurt if you try to go from the center, but I don't think it's necessary. This is an interesting one. Yeah. I am 100% playing this. I'm banking the one ball over to the other long rail and just running the cue ball into the eight and the five and stop right there so the four ball will get it safe. Call the eight just in case. Yeah. Won't want to make it though, of course. Oh, oh, he got a double kiss. Well, he's had a little bit of fortune though because he's left him tree-topped. Yeah, that was the biggest risk with this shot. He knew as soon as he hit it, but at least he hasn't left anything easy, but he was asking for trouble and he's got it. What's that song? If you're looking for trouble, you've come to the right place. So called the one ball in the side. Why is he digging down on this, trying to straighten it up, is he, Tim? Trying to straighten the yeah. angle. Oof, avoided the scratch, but he's left the one on. Oh, but yeah, he ta small tap on the table as he locked up the four ball. Pushed the nine over. <coughs> he's got a couple of shots though to sort that out. I was thinking he's gonna be playing the 3-7 combo, maybe not now. Yeah, he's looking at coming over and leaving the three into the same pocket, Tim, as the two. He could do that. He's playing it right-handed look as well. Um, I was thinking maybe play the combination 3-7 and then after you can maybe go for the four ball. He gets straight here, he's done. Yeah, I think he's pretty straight. Uh, I think his run in this rack is done. Like, he's not gonna get to shoot something on the four. Yeah, he's just getting a position where he can play a decent safety. Yeah, just making sure of it. Now, get maybe even play the 10 carom. Yeah, he Call it at least. Yeah, because he will push the four to the top long rail. Top, yeah, in the long rail where the five and the eight is. Yeah, I like the tempo. It's, it's a free yeah. shot. Yeah. Hasn't called anything, if, I don't if, think. If he doesn't play it, it's also okay. But then play a good safety. And that's not a good safety. Yeah, I did underhit that. And I expect him to come back soon, but he will not be happy with what he's going to get. Did I just see Shane Van Boney sitting in the audience there, watching? I might have done. Big interest, of course, as Moscone Cup. Oh no, he's not anymore, is he? It's Skyler now who's the the vice captain. Oh, he's gone for the ten. Yeah, a little offensive shot, and I think he has left the small edge of the four. But there's not really much future if you hit that small edge of the four.
difficult, difficult shot here. Yeah, I definitely get the feeling of a little bit of tension out there between these two, you know, because they're both really want this don't they i mean they do anyway of course but yeah just that added little extra thing well, i think there's all in americans yeah I, i'm gonna say i think there's also a big competition going on about who's going to be the next big boy in the u.s like that's kind of yeah they both well i will just yeah. say tyler's got no chance of being the next shane because there's his name's not shane it's Tyler. yeah, yeah <laughs> So, good, so he's good got one up and in there. Good shot here, though. I'm glad he kicked at the ball. Like I said, if he had hit the edge, there was not really much future. So he kicked it. Conservative safe. And now... Did he call the carom on the seven? I think so. No. No. Oh, no, he's, he's cut it in. Wow. Well, what a that shot. is ridiculous. That's unbelievable. What a cut shot. Look at this. Cut it in wow. and get perfect on the five ball. Well, he took the paint off that one. <laughs> That's a huge shot. That could make him win the set. Oh. That's tough. I mean, that... Playing at that base, so super soft and yeah, we have a saying: it goes after the Lord Mayor's show. So you've just played a really fantastic shot, and then you're still kind of like on a high from that shot, and you go and butcher the next one. Yeah, it's also the toughest shot in pool. Is the shot after a great shot because there you feel you you cannot mess up. You, you cannot because you will look stupid. A lot of players, they struggle with that. Mm. Well, good safety from Shane Walford. We'll go three, four rails here. He loves a four railer, does tile up. Oh, oh look brilliant. at this. <laughs> wow, two fabulous shots in a row there from Tyler Steyer. Yeah. Great, great, great effort from Tyler. Yeah, I think he, Shane has to go in this matter. If it's quite makeable if he hits it kind of thick. The five ball will slide in and he's guaranteed to have the six. Yeah, I got a little, little bit in trouble with the time could hear the beeper going on, so he ran and just shot at it. Hasn't Can't complain about the bad. outcome, yeah. Came up a little bit too short. Just trying to get that nine ball into play and this five ball might go to the top right corner. Nope. Oh, has he had a roll? He has, he's had a roll there. <sighs> yeah, Might such a trouble though. Such an important one. game, of course. I mean, you get to the end of the set, every shot matters. game of cat and mouse here well I like jumping this and call the 10 Tim what do you think of this one yeah the jump yeah, cue is out called it. Yeah. jump cue 10 ball here we go this is super tough though has to land almost directly on the five ball no I've got a question for you what if he jumps the six comes hits the five comes off the top of the five and the cue ball then goes and makes the ten. Is that legal? 
Yeah. Wow. I think so. Wow. As long as you hit the five ball and the cue ball stays on the table. Yeah. Well, he got close, but yeah, this is a very good opportunity for Tyler. Yeah, and to be honest, you know, he, he had to go for that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like I said before with the one uh, the real first on the five ball. At some point, you gotta go for it because you might not get a better opportunity. Oh. A little hampered with the shirt. Yeah, oh, he's okay. He's well just away making, from it. Just making sure he didn't touch it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see him messing up from there. The nine and the ten in the same corner. So this 10 ball then to take the first set. He's guaranteed at least a shootout. Shane will go for, well I thought he was gonna go for a, a quick break there. He's just getting up to get the balls out. Very gentlemanly of him. So we're gonna nip out guys for a quick two minute break. Enjoy the highlights and whatever comes up and we'll see you for the second set. Oh, I wish those highlights wouldn't end. I mean, they're great to watch, aren't they, Tim? What a great addition to yeah. the broadcast those are. And we're going to be keeping them coming for you guys. And there's Sky Woodward, look, up the back there. Big fan and friend. Yeah, currently waiting for Tyler Steyer to get back to the arena to continue with set number two. Some howling going on, and look, this arena, all those tables and chairs will be totally packed tomorrow. We've got all the teams arriving, 894 of them from all over the world. They're coming, about 7,000 of them. All will be in and around these five, four or five rooms we've got here, haven't we? 310 seven-foot Predator bar box tables. There's about 30... Um, other tables around the arena with all the booths selling everything from cues to tables, tips, key rings, magnets, anything you can imagine. This is the place to be, guys. And if you can't get here, you can watch it free with us here. There you go. So, Tim, decent break again, but... Yeah, well, he, he had lost to Q-Boy. It was, again, a little bit on the thin side. That's to where 
yeah, his chances on getting on the one ball were going to be lower. So, pushing to a jump. Yep. Yeah, and look, there's a 2 10 combo there. Should anyone get a decent chance? I'm, I'm definitely jumping this because if you make it, most likely the cue ball will run into the seven ball and you're on the two. But of course, there is the you have to make it. Like it's it's not easy at all. Of course, it stays tough. There's him lining it up, and now he'll get up on his haunches. Wow, he certainly got into that. And where is the cue ball ending up? Behind the five, maybe? No. Oh, he's left a shot at this. Either in the side. Yeah, probably in the side, Tim. Yeah, yeah, I would say in the side. Could could maybe go to the corner. Decent enough jump. Just catching it a little bit thin. Done well to keep the cue ball on the table. Can cut it to the corner if he wants to. I think he's going in the side, isn't he? Yeah, then he's got to play really good speed. He needs to go to the center of the table. This combo is not lined up. This is not an easy combo at all. But it does count, though. So. Yeah, it's makeable, right? Oh, he's playing safe. He's going to roll up on the 10. Oh. oh. Caught that all wrong. the nine ball yeah nicely done Almost got the cue all behind the 10. So longer seven ball. Only has to drop it in. He doesn't really have to. Go. He can play with low right to get close to the eight. He can also choose to just float it in and get straight on the eight. Yeah, nicely played. Again, Cubal coming close to this rail. Head still, smooth it, just like that. Yeah, the crowd is loving it. <laughs> There's a werewolf in the crowd somewhere. Where is he? Where's that werewolf? So our referee, everyone knows, probably more famous for his back than his front, John Lehman, isn't he? We see more of that than we do the front of him. Him and his crew, let's not forget all the referees as well. They're all on their feet all day long, Tim. At least we get to sit down, don't we? Oh, there's the werewolf. It's a werewolf S. It's a she-wolf. There she is. What's happened to their faces? There's Nathan, um, Nathan what's his Wallace. Name? Nathan Wallace, of good, course. Good friend of mine. Very good player as well. A left-hander, I believe, is yep. he, from memory? Yep. I met him in the league room. Yep. Parkersburg, yeah, West Parkersburg, Virginia. Yeah, Parkersburg, West Virginia. Yep. I was there commentating on the, the World Artistic Pool Championships. And he yeah, had I a was challenge match going on. I was there gambling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, different uh, 
Yeah, different world. Yeah, of course, we've got very different worlds. So very different choice of pence as well. <laughs> so opening shot for Tyler. But again, tough layout, five and nine, not open. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a, a decent open well, it's also really, because they're, they're not really making many balls on a break. We've seen some matches where people were making two or three balls on the break, then it really opens up much. So, some more strategy. Could play a safety behind the 5 9 here. Bump softly into the 9, opening it up, but still gain control. But he has different plans. Don't think he got on the 3 ball, though. Yeah, young Jonas Salto Comino had a great win earlier on against Omar Al Shaheen, two sets to one. Well, on a shootout, of course, that was. Max Lechner beating the pole Conrad musician as well. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. to do. He's got 17 seconds left to decide. Is he kicking this from behind? No. It's oh, a good he's shot played though. that well actually. Just don't leave the gap. Needs the three to either go or stay. Well he's left a shot or something at it. Yeah I don't think he can shoot to make the three unless he elevates the cue and bends around that ball. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. I like that. I was waiting to see how it turned out before I was going to say it, but play you good pace. You know me, Tim, all in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now play good pace, and I'm not sure if Tyler can still hit it using the same long rail. I don't know how far he can get because of the nine. If he can hit it, he should be okay yeah, playing the resave. Look at the, the referee save. watching the five and the three here. Good hit. Yeah. And, yeah, like I said, there was quite some good scenarios that could have happened there. Oh, for he's him. got an edge here, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to find that edge. Scratch is really big. Oh, he called it. Yeah, I, I, as soon as it started, I thought he's going to have a go at this. Right side of the table for him, Tim. Left hand up. Have a go at it. Yeah, maybe that's it for me. Oh, oh yeah. And he's he's got and close. He even Look at the scratch in the side. Oh, Where's the cue ball? Boy. Oh, boy. Also, unbelievable how he overcut that ball. Like, not scratched. He Can drew you? it, didn't he? Drew off that yeah. little bit of the three ball. Terrific cueing. Unlucky, Shane. Yeah, now... The table is open. All the hard work is done. So now traveling from the three to the four needs good speed. That's okay. Avoided being hampered by the nine ball. Yeah, is going to end up with a little bit more angle on the six than he would want to, though. I would have liked to be straight on the six after. Now it has to move the cue ball towards the ten. Yeah, he, he come in between the he, nine and the ten. He might have there. to choose to use the short rail and get back to the center of the table. Makes a really big difference. If he floats this in, it's a lot tougher than if he can get straight on it. He's going with power. Yeah, I like the way he's played that. But... He is short. Has he got that? Yeah, this is 
tricky. No, yeah, I mean, can I he think avoid he's running into the eight? I don't think so. He's gonna hit the six really thin. I don't feel like he's gonna miss the eight. Might be playing safe behind the eight. Oh, not hard enough, is it? Expected him to at least get the cue ball close to the eight, but he was trying to get the six ball around the seven eight to make it difficult. And there might be the kick and stick. Well, Alex Pagulayan has beaten Wojtek Shevchek, the reigning world temple champion in a shootout to stay on the winner's side. Michael Schneider as well beating Bobby Garza by two straight sets and John Mora overcoming Harold Stolkart from Germany by two sets to love. Yeah, so tried the kick and stick, but a little bit too soft or not full in the face. Depends on how you look at it. Is he going for the bank? I would. I would. The side. He no, does not. He didn't. And he's happy with that. Good the bank. Break, good weight. Oh, good shot. Now then, no. though, has the nine gone as a combo? Yeah. And if it has, he's jumping this. And then it's not a good shot. No. I think it's a, it, it's a hanger. If you can get over the seven ball and hit the six, I think it will always go. Yeah, he's called the nine. He's going for it. Well, he might be going real first. Oh, I think he is, yeah. I, he but got I, the but I think stick. if you jump, it's easier to still get on the six. If you kick, the six is most likely to move a little bit to the inside, and the is going to hug the rail. So, not really sure. Ah, oh, well played, well controlled. Good shot. Needs another one though, Tim. Yeah. He's going to shoot the six to the corner and just making sure he has a view on the seven. Another look at that shot. Well, first hits the six onto the nine. Yeah, we could have a potential shootout here if Shane runs out. Robbie Capito has gone down in a shootout to Simon Kural as well. Nicely played. So this to take a 2-0 lead in the second set. He loves being near that rail, doesn't he, on the on the tens. It's the third one. He's a little bit off it this time, though. Dead straight in. Eyes on the prize. And then bang. <laughs> and it goes. I think we got two where we've got a werewolf and a she wolf somewhere. <laughs> They're having fun, aren't they? Well, like I said to you during the break, I said I'd rather have it like this than nobody making any sound and being very boring. You know, I'd rather I like to have that that atmosphere there. Oh, look, there's Mar what's she got on her nose? I think that's just a camera trick, isn't it? <laughs> there's Margaret Steyer. Yeah, it's blue light. Blue light, yeah. She'll be setting out on her campaign tomorrow. The women's Las Vegas Open. Jasmine's in town. Kelly Fisher. Alison Fisher. Wei Wei. Reigning Temple champion as well, Chow. Finally makes a ball on the in break. Town. And oh, he's got an A shot on the one, the one five combo. It's not an easy one, but if you make it and you've just followed the cue ball up to the three, you do have position and can continue. It's like a pinball machine that was. Balls flying everywhere. 
Well, he didn't fence yet, and oh, needs a rail. No oh. rail. Oh, what a mistake. I got it, says John. Wants to clean the ball. Yeah, main thing would be getting from the five to the six, I think. So main difficulty. Can probably just draw straight back off this two ball. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit straighter on the three. Doesn't want to create too much angle. Would not be horrible if he has a little angle. Or that the big angle would not be horrible, but I'd rather be a little bit more straight, so I just yeah, make sure I make the ball. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Can choose to float it in or to come to the other side of the four for the four in the same corner pocket as the three. Run this in. Got a little straight on the four. Yeah, couldn't do much. This now has got a little bit tricky. It's obviously well, the got the seven ten combo. The good thing is, if he just plays top spin, he's always going to cross over for the six. So. Make the shot. Yeah, Good nicely shot. played. Doesn't want to be. Oh, keen it doesn't want to. Oh, I was going to say, doesn't want to move it either. Very it's much. okay though. It's still okay. The good thing is you can play the six with this with a comfortable, calm speed, so it will still slide in. Doesn't really have to force it. So, makes the pocket play a lot bigger. Look at that! How close that revo is. Ooh. Well, he really used all of the pocket there. I think he thought he missed it. So this ten ball to get his first game on the board in the second set. <laughs> Is there a werewolf convention as well in the <laughs> Rio All Suites this week? <laughs> They're springing up all over the arena now. In it goes. 3-0, Shane Wolford. Second set on the hill then. And a lot of people would want this to go to a shootout. Had one earlier on. With Alex Kazakis winning. He's no stranger to a shootout. Alex Kazakis, he's had loads of them. Played in all of the events, Tim, apparently, apart from one oh. of these Pro Billiard Series. And oh. he's won one as well, right? Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. yeah. With a shootout in the final with Balag Alawadi. That was a very tense one. Whew. So many people, probably like 200 people, 300 people <laughs> around the table. Everybody was screaming and hollering. mistake on the score there sorry guys oh nine ball oh look at the five seven Yeah, my mistake, 2-1 is the score. That's correct. 
So I'm already thinking about the 5-7. Obviously, that's a tricky part. He might not even want to bother the 5-7 and get to the 3, play the Karam on the 10. Or a combo, depends on. Off the 4, you mean? Yeah. Off the 4, yeah. yeah. In yeah. that case, you, you have the insurance of having the 5 and the 7 locked, like you can see here. I like the way you're thinking. Oh, he gave that a bash. He does have an annoying angle on this 3, though. It's not really easy to get to the right side of the 410. Might have to stop the cue ball here and play from there. <coughs> He's called the 10. He's going for the, the billiard. I think he can make the four as well, Tim, can't he? Or not? I'm not really sure. Let me see from this angle. Looks like he. No, I don't think he's going to make the four. No. Might two rail it, but... Ooh, straight oh, straight ball. Oh, nice up. tempo. So, two each. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, replay of this tempo. In it goes. Played it well. So I was thinking we might be going to a a shootout. Maybe not. Tyler would love to get this over in two sets. Yeah, we definitely have a good match on our hands here. Yeah, nice. So I, I know I keep repeating it, but it's got that added something, that little bit of spice to it, you know, because of who's playing in the match. Yeah. And you, that spreads to the crowd as well, right? And there's a nice atmosphere in here tonight. It's exciting. It's not quite Moscone, but it's uh, it's certainly exciting. And the crowd getting involved. So can he make a ball on the break? He would love to. Square. No, cue ball went cu closest. Shot on the one. Centre of the table for the two. He's got a Kamui clear on there, look, on his cue. Kamui clear tip. Oh, he's all right. Just nudged the three out of the way. Good shot there from Shane Walford. Maneuvering around the balls very nicely at the moment. And it's a big, big opportunity here to get on the hill in the second set. So we've talked about Tyler's technique and style. How would you sum up Shane's game, having seen a few racks from him? A little bit more like a compact style. A bit more technique. like a Jason Shaw kind of player? No, no, no. I think Jason cues very freely, kind of. He's really, uh, in this case, Shane is kind of compact, short strokes, back and forth. Like, it's all 
surely that's what Jason Shaw is, isn't it? Uh, I think Jason's more fluent, more loose a little bit in the back. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. See, everything, small little strokes, firm grip in the back. And this six ten combo. Ball. Yeah, and again, because the seven ball is in a tough spot, if he doesn't make it, it's still not guaranteed to be out for Tyler. But he will want to make it, obviously, to get on the hill. Oh, in it goes. See it again, nice 6-10. We've seen a few combos today. Well, there was one in the last rack as well, wasn't it? That was the 4-10, wasn't it? That time, well, it wasn't a combo, it was a Karen, wasn't yeah. it? The Karen last one, the sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, such a coincidence, two games in a row that we have something on the 10 ball and there's, like, the next ball is, is locked. Yeah. As the insurance. Yeah, a little pattern developing there. I wonder what he's thinking now. Yeah, we'll have to dig deep to stay away from the shootout. So let's have a look at the, the break then of Shane Wolford. Oh, wow. wow, two balls in the side. Now then, how's the layout? Three's a little bit tricky. Seven's a little bit tricky. Yeah, deserved a little bit more, to be honest. But on the other side, he still has a shot. He has a chance. What more do you want? Yeah, and you notice we had the close-up on Shane then, and he didn't jump up on that, did he? It was all about getting the cue through yeah. for accuracy. Just speed. Yeah, that's a great shot he's played there. And he can just more or less stop the cue ball for the five. Yeah, now I'm already starting to think about the seven ball. What's he going to do with the seven? Is he going to try and get to play position from the six to the seven for the bank? That could be. I think that's his only way to go if he really wants to run out here. I oh, know. I've seen him play the bank ring game actually at the Derby City Classic recently. And he's not a bad banker. Certainly hangs about with the right people. Sky and Billy. Still difficult to get to on the bank. He might play position to just to roll up on the nine ball. He's queuing low, so. Oh. Yeah, he was playing for the safety behind the nine. Would have liked it a little bit tighter, maybe. But, but he's said to Tyler Steyer, well, there you go. You can hit it okay, but can you get it safe? Yeah, I like going three rails here. If you get three rails, you can hit it kind of thick. The seven ball's going to come up, and the cue ball will stay and maybe gets behind the nine. Yeah, the last thing he wants to do is make it in the side and hook himself behind the nine. Call this extension. Was about to go shoot and then call this extension, but I'm actually glad he did this because he will need to spend a little bit more time on being precise on this. This is not easy at all, but I think this is the right shot. Well, he needs some luck and he's got a little bit of luck, but he can cross bank this into the side. And he's, he'll definitely be going for this. Tap on the table, watch this on the pocket. There it is. Yeah, we'll have to play this with draw and left to hold the cue ball along the rail. So it gets a little bit tricky. Or is he going to play stun hard and go all, all around the angles? Yeah, I like that. Oh, oh, he's missed the bank though. Now then.
Yeah, and as soon as you start putting that amount of pace and English on the cue ball, it alters the the way the seven comes off the rail, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it gets more tough. It's just, yeah, obvious. <laughs> the more spin you use, the more speed you use, the more tough shots get. Yeah, so Tyler gets away with it if he runs this out, of course. A sneeze at a very inappropriate time there, but he's made it, in it goes. Yeah, three rails position for the 10. In it goes then. We're hill hill. Second set. We still don't know, Tim. He's going to go through, straight through to the last 64, stage one, so, sorry, stage two knockout. And who's going to be pushed to the one loss side? So come on, let's have a little chat about you then. We've got the World 10 ball coming up. And you're very privileged, I know, to have been getting an invitation to it because it is an invitation only. 128 players. I mean, obviously, you believe in your chances. Others, why go in it? Yeah. But who do you think are the main contenders in addition to yourself for the World Temple? Wojtek Shevchek, the reigning champion. Um, Can you see him doing that again? To be honest, no. Not saying it's impossible, but I think he's got less chances if you compare him to uh, someone like Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who is really on fire at Kachi, the moment. Kachi, of course. Kachi, we of course. We were admiring his break yesterday. F Fedor Gorst, like... Tough to compare Shane. those. Shane, so... Skylar. Yeah, we can keep going. I mean, there's so many of them. Um, Albin, playing good too. So, that's to where... I'm not saying it's impossible for Jeff Chick. I would love to see it, to be honest. It would be really cool. But, yeah, not as much chance as the other guys we just mentioned. That starts on the 28th. I believe. Tuesday. I'm not sure what day it is today. Made a ball. Oh, look yeah. at this. Oh, he will love this. Wow. Well, he yeah. can finish it off here. There's not a difficult ball on the table. It's a road map. I mean, it's just... There's not really... If you Maybe getting from the three to the four. Where, to where you can get a little bit more tough, but... It's wide open. Because if you get straight on the four, you stop the cue ball, you can go forward on the five. If you get straight on the six, you stop the cue ball on the seven. Eight in the side. I mean, it's really connected to each other. Well, he's had plenty of goes at it. He's very experienced with this format. And who knows, with the new format in stage two, he might just go that little extra. Why not? You've got to give him a chance, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And as we've seen with other players, Tim, one little win, well, I'm not calling it a little win, but, you know, one win can set you on that roller coaster. This now is the key shot. a little bit extra time steady himself yeah didn't really leave himself the angle to go forward so he's playing draw yes yeah, it does shot. well if he gets Bounce off the off. rail yeah it's even better now he will not be glued to the rail if he plays a stop shot on the six there you see that elbow drop 
that Tim was talking about earlier. That's the Johan Reisling way. Feder Gorst adopted it as well. Well, not ideal. Minimum he has to do is stop the cue ball and then he can cut the eight still in. I would love to draw back maybe half a diamond or a diamond. Can he he's going forward can to he Yeah, can he cheat the pocket maybe a little bit and I think he's got a slight angle on it. Oh, he's played a great shot there. Played it good? Yeah, played that really nicely. Played a little bit of high right on that. Got a feel for Shane Walford though, because he had the opportunity last track to close the deal here at least and get to the shootout. But yeah, that's sometimes how it goes. He lost momentum there and now Tyler had a good break. And he's now shooting on the eight. Three balls left to win. be feeling great inside now just a draw shot from this nine ball and we're going to be back tomorrow with lots more action big day tomorrow Tim get an early night get some sleep yeah oh, taking a bit more time on this and the shot clock's going to start beeping and in the end, just decided to stop the cue ball. Yeah, this is a long one, but for the win. And in it goes, and Tyler Steyer goes through to the last 64. Shane Wolford goes to the one loss side. I've been Mark White. Thanks for watching and thank you so much. Tim De Reuter. See you tomorrow. See you.